So now, again, think about where we've covered. We've covered the whole perimeter of the haircut. We've also covered here, here, and here. We've then there, there, and there. Move down onto these nape areas. But there's a transition. There's a, an area which is between this side panel, well, in actual fact, between every base panel and the perimeter. So here's my perimeter, here's my area there. I need to make sure that we cross over from one area into the other because it sometimes means that if we don't do this, we can leave a little bit of a ridge between it. So we can soften this area and we soften this area and there's a little bit of bulk in the middle. So you always have to make sure that you run over your edges and perimeters. So just as we're starting to, and you can see that I'm combing the hair into the shape that it's going to be worn. And can you see we're still a little bit bulky? It just looks too long. And it's this part of the haircut there. So it's, it's from that top area. So there's the shorter bits. We just need to come down that little tiny bit further through here. So if I elevate it out from the side area, you'll be able to see the disconnection and the shorter hair that falls away. So there's the length of the underneath, there's the length of the disconnection on top. I'm going to connect that back in now. So we can elevate the hair out and just start to work through that process. Allow the hair to move. And remember, what we can do, exactly the same as we did here, we can do we can do on any part of the head. The only thing that we would really need to be aware of is to be aware of um, that we're not going to be cutting his ears or cutting his eyebrows off or something like that because you know the closer we work to different parts of the haircut the closer uh, we possibly come to you know like if we're going to be here we could be starting to touch on around the ear so just be careful be aware so we're going to work in the middle area now of that haircut to diminish this exactly the same as we did around here and I, I'm, the bit that's going to be directly above the ear, I'm going to comb it in a different direction so that I'm not coming down over the ear area. So you can comb it forward, you can comb it back. In fact, notice when I comb it back, I think, can you see a little bit of a rounded part there? If I bring this round, again, you'll see it here. Prime example, just soften through that. So that helps to now give us that texture and softness all the way through here. And this is the whole part about me saying to you that a razor cut is very visual. If it looks too thick, thin it down. So you're starting now to get to see the actual shape forming, where the shape itself is more layered in here and gradually tapers down to give more of a masculine angle and contour to the haircut. Before, the haircut was quite feminine, it was quite round, and it was quite bulky on this middle area, which again, I, I think it's just purely and simply that it's been left sort of too heavy in the middle area. And it could be something as simple as the inside shape was shortened or was cut and then the outside shape was that little bit shorter um, and it maybe just wasn't blended properly. I'm, I'm not sure, there could be multitude of reasons for this, but you can see the difference now. As we work from this area, if I spin him round and then show you the other side, which again, the other side is that little bit, still a little bit longer and fuller in here, you know, you can see we've got this excess bulk in there. So what we would do with that, same as we did on the other side, again, make sure that we keep the hair damp through there. And you can see the way that the hair is flicking longer here. This is the hair itself. This is the hair showing me 
by the excess length, it's allowing me to read the hair and it's telling me that it's longer there. So again, you can bring it forward, you can bring it back, just don't bring it straight down on top of the ear. And there is one thing, even although the blades themselves have got guards in them uh, or on them, it's, you are still able to cut somebody with this. There can be one tiny area that gets between the guard, maybe on the edge of the ear or something. So just be aware, they are guarded, but they are still very sharp and very dangerous. So let's just come across the head rather than actually going on to directly down. And again, what this is doing, remember I was saying about the perimeter, the inside, and then the crossover. So by us doing this, it's allowing me to cross over those areas and bring that down into that natural um, direction of the way that the hair is gonna be worn. I'm just gonna kind of brush that out of the way a little bit. And The secret with razor cutting and being really quite light, um, you know, you don't want to be having to go really deep in. It'll be painful for the client. And this to me is telling me, or should be telling you that the blade is blunt. It's about time, you know, to change a blade. Mm -hmm.